All right, let's get going, everybody. And we begin uh, with a player close to everybody's heart, uh, actually, after, um, uh, you know, what happened in 2020 when uh, Kristen Erickson suffered a cardiac arrest. And But, you know, luckily and thankfully, he, he slowly but surely recovered. But he has a mutual consent uh, already exiting Inter Milan due to the fact that uh, he's not allowed a device that can help him. It's not allowed in Serie A, so they have to do a mutual consent. So the future now, let's see what happens with Christian Eriksson uh, at the beginning of 2022. What can you tell us, Fabrizio Romano? Is this the end of Christian Eriksson's career or is he hoping for another step in his journey? No, it's not the end. It's not the end, luckily, because, as you mentioned, uh, he has this contract terminated with Inter and they were forced to this decision. This is something really important to clarify because Inter always supported Christian Eriksen. I'm told that in the coming weeks they are planning to have Christian Eriksen in San Siro to have Inter fans celebrating with him that he's still with, with us, he's still playing football because the plan for Christian Eriksen, from what I'm told, also speaking with his agent, is to continue playing football. He wants to continue. He wants to play, to play professional football. As you mentioned, he's not allowed in Italy and this is why he's going to look for different opportunities in different countries. We will see what's next. From what I'm told, I saw a lot of rumors about Ajax uh, his former club and of course it would be amazing but from what I'm told at the moment with Ajax there is absolutely nothing and Ajax are not considering Christian as an option they respect him of course they love him but they're looking for a different kind of player in, in January I will keep an eye on Odense because it could be a possibility for Christian Eriksen we're talking about a different kind of solution because of course it's not as competitive as Ajax, Inter, Tottenham and these kind of clubs but maybe it's the best solution to be back in professional football and to take his time and to adapt again to, to professional football with this new situation for him. So we will see what will be the final choice. It's not been decided yet. He has not an agreement with, with any club, but he wants to continue. He wants to play professional football. And I think it's a fantastic news because we still remember how worried we were during the summer with, with Christian Eriksen. And now we will have very soon Christian back on the pitch. Absolutely. I think that's the good news in general. No matter where he ends up, we wish him the very best and hope that his career continues. So that, to us, is the most important thing, wherever he goes. All right, let's move on. And let's talk about Dusan Vlaovic, Fabrizio Romano. Unbelievable. And you've heard it here first with Fab Orkeo Lasso. <laughs> this is a kid, 33 goals in one calendar year. That's uh, the most since 1960, passing Cristiano Ronaldo, 21 years old. He's also like a good combination. Have you ever seen the movie American Psycho? No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. So please Google it. It's a Christian Bale. <laughs> it's literally Dusan Blaovic. Like it's him and us <laughs> from American Pie. That's why I think it is. But Dusan Blaovic, such he a still has one game. Eh? He still has one game. To, level to with go, Ronaldo, uh, I believe. Yes. Not passing. Level right, with right. Ronaldo, but he has still one game. So maybe your prediction could be good because well, he has yeah, to play exactly. with Verona. So, <laughs> oh, it's definitely happening. He will yeah. pass Cristiano Ronaldo. That's right. I think too. But what's the latest on him? Because obviously, um, the latest to what you tweeted was that uh, Fiorentina CEO has said Dusan doesn't really want to stay here. It sounds like no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He's done, he doesn't want to extend the contract because they're offering him the biggest salary in Fiorentina history. And Barone, Fiorentina CEO, confirmed it again. They're proposing him a lot of money, it's more than five million euro net per season. That is a huge salary for Fiorentina. We're not talking about Inter, Juventus, or Milan. It's Fiorentina. And 5 million euro net is a big of proposal. They're offering this money since September. But from Blauvich's side, they are not intentioned player and agents to accept this proposal. He's out of contract in 2023. So they still have time to find a solution. The feeling is, in January, still same position. Or any club has to pay 70 million of Fiorentina are not accepting these proposals. So there is the serious possibility to see Blauvich staying at Fiorentina in January and then leaving in the summer. So it's going to be an interesting point. I'm sure this Boeing is doing something incredible because, as you mentioned, he's scoring goals, leadership. Uh, he's breaking records and records every single week. But I'm sure that he will be focused also if he will be uh, able to stay at Fiorentina in January to bring Fiorentina back to European football. They are really dreaming of this and Dujan Blau, which is able to, to, to do this with Fiorentina and then maybe to leave in the summer because at the moment there is still no proposal for 70 million in January. But let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 